why i left youtube is because because i don't pcos pcod so i have hairs all over my body my legs everywhere it took me courage to come film this video my fertility journey is not an easy one pills i took that will be on another video irregular periods surgery i did 80 percent of women get pregnant with PCOS, PCOD. Okay, sorry, I promise I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to be down, but I've been trying to fix myself. Tips that you would, you can use to manage your PCOS. I'm going to share in. God gave me a very supportive husband. I don't want to tear up. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Merriment and Family. Uh, if you're new here, this is the face behind the merriment. <laughs> My husband is doing great. We are both fine. I want to appreciate those of you that have been chatting me up on WhatsApp and Instagram page, which is here. Why haven't I been posting and all that? We yeah, went for too long, which is not supposed to be shown. Sure. I just want to make this video so quick and by the grace of God, not too Following long. me from the beginning, you know I'm married and a joint couple based here in India. i married woman and no issue yet. Not that I'm married for like four years, five years. No, I'm not. But we're getting there. But we don't wish to be married. Like no woman wish to be married for like five years, six years. Even three years before you think of conceiving, no woman wish so. Because that's why most women, once they, they, they're married, they'll be like, God, I'm married now, okay, give me baby. You understand me? Which is normal, except maybe it's an agreement between the husband and wife, like, okay, we don't want baby for now. Which is okay, fine. So, it was a live video I did which I was saying about IVF and um, conceiving normal. So I have lots of YouTubers, sisters that came to share their thoughts with me, even while I was, I think I, I, I cried on that um, video. Yeah, so I'm trying to adjust this. I think I even, I, 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 I cried because I was feeling emotional, so I shed tears. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust this camera a little bit. Okay. So I couldn't hold my tears. I think I even shed tears on that live video. Yeah. So, why I left YouTube is because I... My fertility journey is not an easy one. Let's take a deep breath. It has been up and down. Yeah, if you wonder why I'm wearing this, it's winter here, so I have to protect myself from cold. So it has been up and down for me, and ah, God have mercy. It took me courage to come film this video yes because i'm not shy why it's not a big deal it's not a sickness that cannot be cured it's not it's not some it's not a sickness that cannot be managed no <laughs> even health practitioners they know it can be managed uh, lots of women give birth to with the illness not even an illness i don't even call it an illness i just call it it's a gift that god give 80% of women, so that's just what I call it. So, um, why I haven't been able to conceive all this while was because I am PC, PCOS, PCOD. Okay, for those of you that don't know, PCOS, PCOD is a um, polycystic ovaries. Yeah, I think if you also google it, you would know. I found out how did I find out I was PCOD? I found out I was PCOD. At the age of 14 years old, because I noticed I was having ingrowth hairs here. For uh, you might not see it because I waxed. I went for I went to do my facials about a few days ago, so they had to wax everything. It's like it's like man, it grows like man. 
yes it grows like my beer beer <laughs> so i have hairs all over my body my legs everywhere if both of us should shave our private part now within a week mine is like you've not shaved for for like two weeks no i did last week so so we are just like that we're just blessed with natural hair so you know but medically something is going on which we don't know so when i started noticing this i just felt like oh i look like my dad no my dad is hairy oh my god i have baby like my father you know those stuff i never knew that medically it will affect me when i am ripe or when i'm ready to have a child so i never took it serious when i was in nigeria i never took it serious for team it's not somebody i want to have baby will start knowing all this all this very constant what is that if you come out and then i'll be plugging it my mom will help me then to be pulling it out which is normal so when i got here before um i got married to my husband properly my intention was like uh let's just you know have a baby in between my husband was like okay, is that what i want i said yes it's what i want so it was like so we started trying one year we we're together we that after in my engagement we started trying to have a child yeah we started trying then um uh, transitions and all that were not made yes because no need of lying to you guys we're just engaged i was just trying to get pregnant which i got but i had uh, a lost baby i had a miscarriage then so after everything was made on my head i, I kept trying and you know then i was I'm, I'm married properly so i kept like trying you know that okay i was like okay ever since that miscarriage like one two three like up to four miscarriages like it was like four times miscarriages how is that possible okay no because for alarm i don't need to blame my god he knows it all pcos pcod are people Number one, irregular periods. You stay two months without seeing your periods. I know infections can be one of the reasons why periods delay if you are not PCOS or PCOD infection. Which as a woman, your period is delayed for two months, three months. Please go to the medical center to know what's happening. So my was, I already knew my was like, this is what I have one month i won't see period i'm not pregnant my test my pregnancy test kit is negative i'm not pregnant so what's happening what what is the cause of all this okay then i summon courage like i need to know so when i went for test that was when i knew i was like so i had god gave me a very good indian gynecologist a woman Dr. Isha, I appreciate this woman so much from the depth of my heart. She don't treat me like I'm black. She doesn't treat me like I'm unpatient. She treats me like a younger sister. That's how she treats me. She started telling me to take medically serious. So I was busy taking my pills, taking different tablets. I'll go online, Google, whatever tablets I see, boom, I'm buying. I'll even buy the ones sometimes for like 5,000 rupees. You can check it how much it is in your currency. Sometimes I will buy, what's your name? Which I will be doing another video of teas and pills I took. That will be on another video. But I'm just trying to tell you guys that I'm PCOS and I'm PCOD. That is why conceiving is difficult. It was difficult. It was difficult for me to conceive. Yeah. So, um, this is my test report. You see this right here? These are different test reports I've gone to in Indian here. They are much. So this was the one that prepared me. This was a surgery I did. For those of you that know, so my gynecologist advised, okay, Mary Rement, why don't you go for, let's check your tube if the two tubes are functioning excuse she was me. like let's check if your two tubes are functioning 
which I was like, okay, you know, it's it's fine by me. I'm 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 okay with it. Let's just go for the test tube. So I went for the surgery, which um, I went. I did for a, a package of um, the one with without with without pain, which I paid. So before I could wake up, it was like you know when you're going for surgery, they had to give you an injection that you'll be unconscious of yourself till they finish what they were doing in your VJ down there. Then you just woke up. So I came to my husband. I was unconscious for about two hours or one uh, yeah, again to two hours. And I woke up, I, f I was literally bleeding, which I was already, the nurses already padded me up with some cotton wool. And my two tubes were okay. When she told me that, I was very happy. I was like, oh. <sighs> and there was this uh, um, confidence I had. Like, she kept telling me that 80% of women get pregnant with PCOS, PCOD. Why are you down? I'm going to cry. If I go to malls, I see children. I'm going to cry. I shed tears. I can't see a woman maltreating a child. Then I'm okay. No. It's like I should like fight that woman. I thought my husband gets to hold me. Like, why are you doing this? You don't know what... She's trying to discipline her child. Discipline what? Why? So, like, it got to the point of, I, at the time, I stopped going to malls. Because I don't want to go to malls and pass where other kids are playing. And, you know. Okay, sorry. I promised I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to be down. I said I wasn't going to be down. But I just couldn't help. 12 a.m., 2 a.m., you see me. And the palo. But what I thank God is that God gave me a very supportive husband. Even before we got married legally, traditionally, he was telling me to not to pressure myself. But as a woman, and I'm I'm yes, I'm very young. I'm not even up to 25 years. I'm not up to that. But I just had that intention of, because I told God, God that God before this age I want to be married and God did it. So I was like, ah before this, you know, my title, let me just give it to my kids and all that, but I wasn't bored. I thought. But I never lose hope. So I just want to say that if you were PCOS and PCOD out there, there is still hope. You can conceive. You can carry your child. Be it PCOS, PCOS, that is just a name. You can have your child. That is just what I want to say. Okay, but this is the reason why I've been offline on YouTube. I've been trying to fix myself, you know, take my medical health serious to know where I'm going wrong and what I'm doing that is not right. Which I know by the grace of God, it will heal fruitfulness. So... It shouldn't weigh you down, okay? I don't want this video to be too long because I don't want to tear up. <laughs> On our next video, I'm going to be sharing my pills and teas that help me a lot. That help me a lot and tips that you would, you can use to manage your PCOS. I'm going to share in it, but this is just what I want to tell you guys that. PCOS and PCOD and it has been difficult for me so if you see anyone with such condition and trying to conceive but they're not conceiving just keep showing them love because you don't know what they pass through every day <laughs> see you guys later